Hey. What up? I, oh man, I've been thinking about <laughs> this game constantly. I, I rushed through the last stream, like plot stuff that was so dense. And like, I don't even know that it was that I rushed, cause I'm still on chapter one and it, there's so much happening. Um, that I had to like, I had to listen back on the VOD yesterday because I was, I was like, okay, wait, explain it to me again. Exactly. Like they live for 10 years, but like, why is Vandam there? And what? I mean, not anymore. Rip Bam Dam. But I'm, I'm sitting here just trying to sleuth it out, figure out like where this fits in the overall lore. Um, also, y'all were right. Like, you were like, oh, you can't run around and do much and, like, level grind and stuff right now. Um, and yeah. I did, like, run around and just explore where I could, but that wasn't much, honestly. I'm always afraid to get within, like, a hundred yards of, like, the whatever the plot marker is. Because sometimes it says that it's, like, 200 meters away or whatever, but then, like, a cutscene will trigger when there's still, like, 50 meters left to go. And you're like, what? But I wasn't there yet. So, like, I didn't trust it. You itching to get wrecked! Bruh... We don't have time for your shenanigans right now. Fucking level six Volf, please. Man, and the music slaps so hard too. I wanted to find one of the tracks from the last stream, but I was afraid to go searching for it. Because people were like, some of the song titles are spoilers. And I was like, oh. Riku's so sleepy. Could do with long soaking bath. Oh, to be a carefree nop on. Just oh, hold yeah. out a little longer. We'll be back soon. I had questions oh. about Riku. Oh, Look, fuck. Friendlies! Mm -mm. Hey! It's me! Lands from. Oh. Like, do you not see the glowy red eye? That means bad. Cut it out! We're your friends here from Colony 9! They're not listening, Lance! The spark! Don't they recognize us? Noah, um. Are they like. Is it like a sleeper agent Noah. thing or are they just brainwashed? We'll just have to fight back. Fight back! You're crazy! Just. don't kill them. Oh, is that all? Easier said than done. Wine later. It's time! So I was like, I feel like if they, they would at least say something, even if they recognized us and thought that we were, um, traitors or whatever. So loud. Enemies broken away from me. Come here. I got something. Uh, Thank you, How about this? I forgot that I'm playing the healer right now, so it's like there's not much damage I can do, honestly. That's it. Help me. Hey, nobody. What's up? Oh, it's going. Just crap! What is going on? We're on the same side. Trying to figure out what the hell is happening, as usual. It's kind of creepy how they're not saying anything. Will be your enemy. I wonder how your lives will turn out. I'll enjoy watching you. The world out. Enemy. Huh? What was that? 
if we get any closer to Colony 9. We're just going to end up getting surrounded. We've no choice. We're gonna have to head back! Well, I guess fuck all whatever side quests I was gonna do. I accidentally saved over my safety save, so... A lot of good that did me. Got more moving stuff done. Nice! I hate moving. I hate moving so much. How are they so good at finding us? What's going on here? Tie on! I... That light... Is that... What is it? I'll explain later. Right now, we need to focus on getting out of here. Fuck. Well, that's not exactly how I thought we were gonna, like, team up, but I guess that works too. I'm just... confused about, like, I don't know. I guess, is it their irises, maybe? Should we gouge our eyes out? Uh, defender roll. Her class is Zephyr. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're real tanky. I never fucking pay attention to aggro stuff. Maybe I should, but I just don't. Was, um yeah auto run there's no going back to colony gamma we need to get some distance or they'll find us Ro Roger <laughs> where are we by the way hey I did that right oh okay Oh no! Guess they knew we'd come here. You're the ones that raided the colony. I ain't letting you get away. What? Huh? What? Sir? Maybe they are just brainwashed. Oh, someone having real bad mood. But why? It's like nobody recognizes us. As of this moment, the point is moot. Clearly, we ought to prioritize our physical safety. But... Senna, come on. You don't want to get slaughtered by our allies, do you? I don't get it at all, guys. We can't go back to Colony Gamma with things like this. Tyon, is there somewhere we can hide out? I suppose where we bade farewell to our new friends might do. Understood. Let's try and slow him down at most. Exactly my thoughts. Oh, Senna. Is it Senna or Sena? I don't remember. She's cute. Also, why is it just one guy? Bro, I know what Hagro is, I'm just not gonna use it though. Like that would require me to pay like a lot of attention. Uh, okay. Neil, get the enemy's attention with an arm. Come. Keep it up, please. No, it's getting... Uh, classes from uh, Keeves and Agnes recharge their art gauges in different ways. Vessi classes art to gauge fill over time. Agnes classes art to gauge fill by auto attacking. Oh! Oh, that's cool! Huh, I wonder... That's purposeful, I'm sure, but, like, I wonder if it has any deeper... Because filling over time is a thing that Xenoblade 1 does, if I'm remembering this right, and the, the auto-attacking fill is what Xenoblade Chronicles 2 did. So that's neat. The shapes are even similar, because... 
Xenoblade Chronicles 2 had the, the diamond shape. Is like, is it super too loud? I feel like I turned it down a little last time. It's a little loud in my ears anyway. Hang on, let me just turn down my headphones. Almost over. Ah, oh, good. I'm glad. I think moving is probably one of my least favorite things of all time to do. It's just a nightmare of keeping track of literally everything. And you have to sort through all the shit that you haven't touched in years, and you're like, should I bring this? I don't know. Uh... Mimi, are you gonna be all right? Thanks. I'm okay. Bit weirded out, but fine. Wait, no, hang on. Where am I going? Oh, enemy. I'll hold them all. Am I going the right way? Well, we've been found. Hang on. Butterfly oh. blade, big impact. Impact. Hammer. Oh. We have right, superiority. Push through. Moving. Uh, I couldn't keep them in check. Uh, Man, I gotta say, combat feels way better with them. The uh, filling arts via auto attack is just is just better. It just feels better. I know it's essentially the same thing, but it just feels better. What? You lot. Also, are they going to explain why she... I mean, is that Nia or not? Because she has the... Ooh, what? Much as I love a friendly reunion, what exactly are we doing here? Yeah, beats me. I'm Just starting the to get fancy here. Mm, what he said. And how do you suppose we feel? Tyon, don't be like this. Reel it in a little. I didn't notice her hair was like flamey. What's up with that? You guys, you want to survive? Live on? Hold the torch? Good question. What? Guys, let's live. Let's survive. What kind of pep talk is that? Of course we're going to survive. Well then, we know where to go. The city. The sit? What are you even... In the eyes of the world at large, we're outlaws now. We can't go back to the colony. The soldiers. Their irises glowed blood red, just like his did. Oh my god, what? A protagonist catching on? Right. I remember. This is just conjecture. But what if those soldiers are perceiving us as enemies? Because of the red irises? Correct. But what's even up with the colony? Did that freak do that? How? We don't know the method, but it's logical to think he did something. That's exactly right. That's it. So instead of going off our separate ways, we stand a better chance if we all work together. Yeah, I already like glasses, guy. I suppose I can't deny that. If we are going to be running, we might as well have some kind of aim, right? People on opposite sides, working together. Do you see? You're saying we can survive that way? Dude, what are we doing about the homecoming? Bro. Lance. Are you being serious? Uh, uh, Come on, you have to understand. Uh, if you still want to go after all this, I won't stop you. But before you do, you'll have to kill our friends here. 
Is that even... how our lives are supposed to go? Remember that ceremony? Long ago. But after our homecoming, what's left? Well, think of the praise they got up there. Mm -mm. Up on that shining platform. To me, it was like a pillar of husks. <laughs> yeah, like, bro, are you sure, super altar, sure about that? Built upon countless lives. You want that as your legacy? You're really okay with that? <sighs> well... What do you want me to do? I can't answer that for you. I don't know everything. But we need answers. I say we go out and find them. I want to know why were we entrusted with these powers? What did he mean by the real enemy? So, the city. Yeah. What did he say? A, a land pierced by a great sword? Oh, right. That sword. You know, that massive one way down south. Defeat the real enemy and restore the world to order. Well then, I guess you can count me in. Mia? I think I'd like to trust that man. Besides, how can we even fight anymore, after all we've been through? They're the enemy. They were the enemy. I'm like... Are there even... I mean, I guess Van Damme is like a regular dude. But like... Okay, I'm with Mimi on this one. Like, are regular people a thing in this world, or what? Advantage. I'll admit that, at least. Oi, what's that look for? Don't just stare at me. It's creepy. We're gonna need an answer soon. Do I even have a choice? I mean, you could go die, There's I guess. nothing for it. Good. My name's Noah. Colony 9, Special Forces Unit. As you know, I'm an Officer. These three, Lans, Uni, and Riku, are my long-term friends. Oh, and this is my passion. <laughs> Someday I'd like to play my own melodies. Not just the same old music that I learned in training. Okay, that's really cute, but when he said it's my passion, okay. I was just like, graphic design is my passion. Uh, what is this? Because I have trash brain. It's like a surprise inspection or something. It'll help in the long run. Come on, man. Really? This is cute, though. I'm called Mio. I'm an officer in Colony Gamma's musical unit. Um... I can do the 100 metri in seven seconds. Pretty quick on my toes, I guess. You go, girl. This is adorable. Um, I keep a diary. I like writing down what happens. I never miss a single day. Uni's the name. Special Forces Unit, Colony 9. We act as Noah's escort. Me and the boys, inseparable since we left the pod. My special moves, group heal. It's great at healing my allies all at once. My hobby, collecting fortune clovers, I guess. And I'm Senna. I've been Mia's roomie uh, ever since I was posted to Colony Gamma. My special move, I'm just crazy strong, I guess. Aww. I don't look it, but I can lift far more than my own weight. My hobby is lifting. <laughs> I was like, do y'all oh, even have hobbies? There you go, Lans. Got a muscle buddy. You're all freaking soldiers. You don't. It doesn't seem like you have lives outside of this war. Well, I'm Tyon. I'm part of operations and planning in Colony Gamma's survey branch. For this mission, I was assigned as support for the Offseer. And go on. 
Your special move? I just noticed their clothes are I don't have a special filthy. Move. <sighs> What's the point? Why share details like that? I don't have hobbies. Wow, call any dull. Riku. In Colony 9, Riku was head of maintenance and crafting. And these are attendants of Riku. They at your disposal. What's this attendance crap? I'm Manana. Manana was Manana. cooking pot in Colony of Mio and others. Manana master of food. Stews, baked goods, fry-ups. Can even cook up a mean Gonzalez eyeball. Eyeball. I love Manana so much. I didn't realize both Agnes and Kevis assigned Nop onto their off-seer squads. Weird coincidence, huh? Yeah. Wouldn't have expected similarities there. Oh, look at her go. Look at her go. <sighs> Come on. Uh, my name's Lance. I'm from the same colony as Noah. I work as the unit's defense. My special move? Ah, you figure it out. Ugh. Do we have to do this rubbish? Just bear with us. We can plan, now that you've joined. I found the said character, guys. So you're acting like we're a team already? Ugh. Because you know he's a softie. He's alive. Fine then, I'm with you. You totally sure? What else do I do? Not like we've got much choice. So? What's our angle? We have made some distance, but we're still in the colony's search zone. Luckily, we don't have any colonies south of here. And you? We shouldn't have any colonies mobilized either. So we go south then? Yeah. Um, what are you doing there? Hmm? Well, our clothes are pretty filthy. Just wondered if there was anything to change into ah uh, okay oh fashion Aww. and utility but i like noah's outfit i don't want to change I it need a change of clothes too i like mio's outfit too these are uh yeah don't stop at clothes have a look around take anything that could come in useful like can i change the outfit of everyone but them but okay so like the thing is there anything we could use that i was gonna say is like are there are there other other cities around like they say colonies right but they're really less like colonies and more like just army camps like where are all the tailors and i don't know fucking the people who build the structures and the people that like bake and stuff. I guess, well, we do have cooks here or whatever, but it's just like, where's the rest of life if all they do is live for 10 years and fight each other? Like, are there other non uh, combatant hom like people around? Like, for some reason, I'm getting the impression the Nopon are different because, like, Riku doesn't have an iris or anything. Um, and they all have those tattoos, but I didn't see one on Riku at all, or the other one, but I wasn't looking super hard. Um, like, what's the deal with Nupon? Do they have their own colonies somewhere else, like, um, Frontier Village or whatever? Or are they also, like, made artificially, like we are? Like, Van Damme seemed like a regular dude, but I'm not really sure why. Anyways. It doesn't look like there's much we can make use of here. Um. Proper hunting now, Noah. This no time for tomfoolering. Also, I noticed that Riku has a cute jacket. Like a leather jacket, it's rad. Yeah, like, I don't know, maybe they're, I just missed where the tattoo thing is supposed to be, but I didn't see it. Also, hello, dog tags. Are these his dog tags?
Guernica Vandem. I guess that's his name. That's great. Huh? I kind of hated the idea of not even knowing who he was. Right, yeah. Let's remember him as the man who gave us a goal and the ability to choose. Yeah. I guess I'll find out, like, maybe it'll be a situation, like, with the High Antia in Xenoblade 1, where we'll, like, we'll get to the Orion Titan and it'll turn out that it's just totally normal for people to live full lives and not fight each other in Uriah. And we didn't know this whole time. Ah, spark it all. It never rains, but it pours, eh? What am I... What am I... What am I doing over here? We should gather up anything that looks useful for the road ahead. Hey, these are all clothing containers. Cooking ingredients here. Is Tita good at these? Oh. There's one with equipment too. She's so cute. Not exactly equipped to match our setup. Eh, we'll just have to deal. Hmm. What's with the frown? Have they got nothing in your size? Well, this fabric is awfully thin. It doesn't seem very reliable. You can't expect luxury, can you? Bound to be better than nothing. Unless... You're happy with what you have now? N no, I'll wear it. We all have to make sacrifices. No, oh, I kind of like Ooh. him. You know, I might be able to wrap this jacket. Maybe I'll go for this one. I like the colors. Not exactly the freshest threads, eh? Maybe it's on the old side, but there's no tears. It'll be fine. They've got lots of funny designs here, huh? They sure do. Some of the stuff's like, how do you even put it on? This is so cute. Pretty easy to move in this score. Oh, yeah? Are there any more of those? Cute little team building exercises. Oh, shoot. What is it? Not gonna change? Huh? Um, yeah, I. Hang on. Still gotta uh, change my boots, I guess. Y your boots? Uh, you'll need a hand with those, yeah? What? Y'all did community baths before, never even cared about looking at titties. Oh, now you're nervous? I, uh, I can help. Uh? What's boot them? They could have just changed here. They went pretty far off, huh? Uh. <laughs> Though I guess with the prospect of, like, Shifting your entire life's focus and goal to like surviving instead of fighting each other. I guess maybe some stuff was clicking. Like, oh, maybe boobies are cool. It happens. They have to determine hierarchy. <laughs> Is that. Oh, there's hers. I wasn't sure exactly what. I didn't remember where hers was yeah. either. My time left. <laughs> Think about it. Wouldn't want to lose track of time and just run out. Today, it's exactly three months. Oh, shit. She's like at three the end, months. end. And then I'll be gone from this world. I've thought about this a lot. About what I can achieve. What I'll leave behind. I've sent off so many who felt the same. Is there precedent for somebody running out and not paying, not noticing or so that's realizing? Did that guy. You hope to live more. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Huh. But you and me, just talking like this, 
I think that's kind of amazing. And if there really is hope, in that place that the man mentioned... Is that what you'd want for a legacy? <laughs> it just seems suspicious to me. I'm like... Thinking when it runs out, maybe if there's no ceremony, that nothing will happen. It's like all a big sham. Because most of them don't even make it to ten years, so like... Those who can leave their legacy. Are they content at the end? Huh? And the ones left behind. Can they really come to terms with that? That's food for thought. Huh. Yeah, she does have that jewel, which is actually really significant, but I don't know how yet. What that connection truly means. It's a direct reference to the connection. previous game. Hey. Heavy stuff. Yeah. That's life, I guess. I got questions about how they're made, too, because, like, they're all born from these, like, pods or whatever. But they all are, they're also so diverse. It's interesting. Like, it seems like every race is included in this like artificial life thing except maybe for the nopon which i'm i have questions about oh cute yo so i see it's the piece from the iron giant oh i love the iron giant i know exactly what you're talking about Super it's good to keep a record. Man. So yeah, the thing is, like, Mio is not Nia. Even like in the face and like some aspects of the design isn't quite the same as Nia, but she has Nia's flesh eater crystal in her chest. So that's I got questions about that. Also, I say like all the different races and stuff of like, we have a high end here. We've got some homes. I think Lands is supposed to be Machina, but I have no idea what Senna is. Like, she's got the the flame hair, like, um, 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 like Bridget, who is a blade, but like, she's a blade. <laughs> they're, not, they're not real life forms. Agnes and Kevis. Working together as a team. Tyon seems a little dissatisfied. Oh. But at the time... We get to actually... His thinking was Read her diary. This is cute. Finding a path that lets us all live. I will make that my mission. Yeah, yeah, I saw that the with the WB making the Iron Giant fight. Like, what a disservice. The whole point of the Iron Giant is that he doesn't want to fight. It's a good lad. Oh, it's flashback time. The babies. Stop crying, lads! It won't change anything! For now, just run! <laughs> Run with all the breath you have! Oh, this is right after What's-His-Name died, I bet. Noah! Over here! We can go through here, and then we're out! All right! Oh yeah, but this is a city here. Sparks! So we maybe there are regular people. No! <laughs> Hello. 
Oh, she's hot. She's got two swords. Oh, I, I already know. I have so many feelings about Lance already. He acts like such a tough boy, but he is so messed up over what's his name's death. Like, even to present day. Poor baby. I'm sorry. Huh? If I'd been just a bit faster, I could have saved many more lives. Uh, who are? I'm Ethel, from Colony 4. Silvercoat Ethel! She pushed her colony all the way to rank Silver, and in her third term at that. Some do call me that. However, a person's worth isn't in their color. It's here. Nice blade you've got. Yeah, what's the deal with it? <laughs> the game knows. It's teasing me. Okay, so I wasn't super positive. I guess I was a little slow on the uptake with the tattoo thingy. It looks like, I guess when they're born, it's like all red and it like slowly drains, which is why they're like almost all gray now that they're near the end of their life. So maybe when it runs out, they do just die. I don't know. What? Huh? Wow! Tough guys, eh? He had a whole ass theater to watch us in? Wow! This passage of fate. We got ourselves a nice little awakening. You were all talk when what? you left here. But you've nothing to show for it, D. Oh, spare me, P. After all, I did precisely what I was meant to do. So? About that huge bet of yours? Pray tell us who won. Pah, a draw, I think. And with two whole colonies on the field. We should have sallied forth in the first place. The whole thing would have been done by tea time. Duh. What the f- It was Jay who insisted on it. I thought that that had already been communicated. In that case, I believe it's my turn next. H, I'm pretty sure you already had your kicks the other day when you wiped out Colony 8, no? Surely the turn is mine. Honestly, you make more noise than the rabble at a feast. That? Oh my god. Even if you did stop its raging flow, it will soon burst through. All it That's Harry Lloyd! Fisher. And that is Wait, 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 wait. I listen I've told you before. I listen to the Hedge Knight audiobook all the time. The gang's all here again. Hang on, hang on. What did they say his name was? Kay. Will you go? He has a letter, I'm guessing. If See? You say I go. I go. Well then, let us see how far the flow brings them this time. Xenoblade Chronicles Z, voice actor. I'd, I'd bet money on it. I'd. No, like the English one, though, please. No! What? Yeah! Oh! Fuck, nothing comes up when I search Z. Guys, what do you think you're doing? Oh, Tyan, morning! Hey, did we wake you? Honestly, I'm surprised you haven't gone and woken up the whole Forsaken Continent. 
So? Fuck, can somebody look it up for me? Oh, I swear to you that that's Harry you Lloyd, I swear. Be able to do the same as what Noah and Mio did. You reckoned? You mean that Ouroboros thing? Yeah! How badass was that? We thought if we pulled it off, it'd raise our chances of survival a whole bunch. And you think it's that easy? Huh? I mean... I don't mean to burst your bubble here, but don't you think maybe that power's meant only for them? Yeah, but that Mobius guy, he did refer to us. Yes, it is him. I fucking knew it. I just thought... You thought maybe you could transform as well? What makes you think it would be you two, anyway? Say it is possible. It could be me and Lance. It's just... Kind of a feeling. He did an incredible hunt, audiobook rendition right? of all the Duncan Egg novellas. Highly not. recommend listening to not them. at all. Then, uh, I guess that leaves me with her. Anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to get too distracted on what's happening. I envy you, I really do. Now, oh, what are you moaning about now? Let's drop it. I don't want us bickering this early. Especially, not now we seem to be sharing a common destiny, we happy few. If I didn't know better, I'd say you're trying to get us all worked up. Think whatever you want. I think you might be on the mark, though. Oh? We were all there, every one of us, in the same situation. Now, hold on. The only difference was... His new outfit's I okay, I just missed the old on one. Protecting me he looked protecting sharp. Protecting all of you guys. And then I suddenly transformed. That's it? That's all it took? Yeah. So you can take that form via a strong desire or emotion? Possibly. Probably too much to ask a Professor Grump here. What, me? Well, who do you think? And you're any different? What, me? <laughs> As if I'm gonna join with you! Nah, they're gonna join. Me. <laughs> Come on, though. You're not going to manage this overnight. Not the way you all are right now. Even so, it can't hurt to have a little hope, can it? Though I imagine at some point we'll all be able to, like, mm. fuse. I suppose there's logic in that. It'll be, like, part of the, like, with blades or whatever. Like, different combos will have different um, advantages and disadvantages. I didn't know the name until I saw the face. He was on this X-Men show years ago as Professor X. Oh, really? Uh, most people in recent years probably know he's Viserys Targaryen in Game of Thrones. Um, and he's primarily a film actor from what I'm aware. So it was uh, interesting to... That was not a voice that I would have expected in a Xeno game. Also, like, I don't normally recognize film actors voices unless they're really distinct but like when i tell you that i fall asleep listening to the audiobooks for like the main game of thrones books the lore books duncan egg like i've listened to them hundreds of times that's not an exaggeration so like i could clock harry lloyd's voice anywhere uh, everybody ready yeah Tasty treats? Check. Just took a quick look-see. This equipment seems pr surprisingly quality. Don't you think? Uh, yeah. Looks that way. Okay, the red jacket is pretty nice, but... It'll take some getting used to. That city we're heading for... Looks like it'll be a long journey. I found us a route heading south. Will that work for you? Thanks, Tyon. Hey! You got some real handy data there! I guess we should head through the caves and towards, uh, Millic Meadows first? Chin up, guys. Let's get going. <laughs> what? Me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sweet. Okay, I can change 
characters now. The uh, ZL. Leave it to me. Come on, who else? No, oh, she's cute. I'll handle this. You you want me to lead? So like Oh cool. All right, cool. Yeah. So I think I rem I do remember this from um trailers and stuff that like we're all in party at at the same time. Like there's I don't have to worry about swapping uh party members in and out or whatever, which is pretty cool. Through that cave before going to head south. How come you get to be the boss? I know this stuff too. Though they're going to have to like balance it cuz like how many people are we? Six? That's like a pretty, uh... Not to worry. Stick to the plan. We've got- definitely have the numbers, you know? Speaking of audiobooks, the book prequel the book prequel to the movie Heat came out, and the VO guy for the Audible version for some reason sounds like the old trailer voice guy. Old trailer voice guy for Heat, or do you mean Don LaFontaine? The in a world. Like somebody showed a clip of it with a real kind of sad passage, and the voice is literally just like epic trailer 2005 guy. Shall we deal with this? Yeah, uh, I don't remember when he passed, um, but Don LaFontaine was like the legendary trailer guy. Hear that, Noah? Lance wants something a bit meatier. Fontaine Lake, but not the actual dude. Yeah, no, no, he's been dead a while, but, um, but like, he's become so iconic that it's a voice type that people actively try to work on and hone because uh, clients want that. Which is also like a bit of a double-edged sword because it's like cool that uh, Make me myself to it's death. such an iconic voice type. Decent, right? But it's also like you never hear trailers n narrated with like feminine type voice types ever. Because they all want the the Don LaFontaine voice type. So, like, when it comes to, to trailers and demos and stuff, it's not a market that has a lot of room for people with a higher voice type, which is kind of... Eh. Hey, Gadget Man, what's up? It's just kind of odd hearing it for a 300-page book. Well, I guess it must have just been what the author wanted. I mean, I know that... This is kind of... Awkward. <laughs> the uh, How do you think we feel? author definitely is a part of the review process, I, as far as I'm aware. I haven't done officially audiobooks. I've been thinking about getting into it. Um, but that's like a whole separate field with different skill sets and stuff. So I have a lot of um, learning to do first. But as far as I'm aware, the author has some say over who does the voiceover for it. Maybe they really wanted their book to be read like super epic. Ruska nut. Nice. Is this like, I guess, the Bionis leg equivalent area? Very cool. I still can't get over the- Why the Orion Titans? I mean, it makes sense considering Van Damme, but like, so rude. Before you reach the Great Sword, everything's gonna be fine, Nini. Hang in there. Hey guys, could I have a moment? Meh? Hmm? Yeah? What's up? 
There's something that I forgot to tell you. It's about who in charge of Dindin duties? No. From now on... That's only you, Manana. ...to avoid combat as much as possible. So, Kevez, Agnes, if either of them decide to put up a fight, don't kill them. Oh, I was saying okay? Kevez wrong. Not saying Super wrong. The idea. But why? Guess it'd suck having to draw on our allies. Do we just knock them out cold or something? Or get them to surrender. How kind of you. Huh? I'm sure our past victims will appreciate that. You little... Dude, it's we about moving forward, dingus. Lives. There's no point. <sighs> There's a reason we met. There has to be. Huh? You think? Back then, if we hadn't met each other, we wouldn't be here like this now. Even though we're being chased by both nations at once. We get chased, we run. Easy. It's a Joe Star family special technique. A smart new decision. Also, I was going to do that anyway. We'll keep on running to that sword. <sighs> Talk about bad blood. Yeah, I'm really loving the eyes. I can't stop looking it's at them. Days. Maybe so. They're so pretty, and I love the way they just Funny flicker around. You can talk. You've got those shiny chest doodads. Oh, yeah, she has one too. Always had these. You know, I've never even thought of myself as strange before. So many things taken for granted. We're pretty different, huh? Worlds apart. No one's worlds apart. If anything, we should be questioning all that we've thought to be true. Differences are all a matter of perspective. Yeah, I like him. Oh, skeptic. I wonder, does he have a crystal thing on his chest too? I mean, are we can't see like it. This? Of course. It's my nature. Hmm. Personally, I think it's easier to take things at face value, you know? Now, wouldn't that be nice? Huh? You making fun of me? But all I said was, it would be nice. Oh, no, you don't. You just call me an airhead, you jerk. This is just... How long are you going to drag this out? For as long as I spark in need to. Until you come clean, Four Eyes. I can't believe this. Someone shoot me. Okay, but, like, they got that energy, though. I don't know if I'd ship them or not, but, like, they got that energy. What's that? What's that over there? Hey, Mimi. You can see that, uh, Ferranis over by the side of the big outcrop there, right? Oh, yeah. Odd. I don't have any data about a colony established in this locale. Odd for sure. Noah, take a good look. Isn't it kinda... old? It does look like it's seen quite a bit of service. Yeah, I don't think they make them like that anymore. Uh, do you think it's safe to be around? You're freaking me out a bit here, Mio. Sorry. I don't think an apology is necessary. Do you think there could be some useful resources and stuff in there still? Possibility, certainly. It's in the general direction of our objective. Why not investigate it? Alright, let's check it out. So what, is it abandoned, I guess? What if everybody was from Brooklyn instead? Aw, oh, shit, dude. They're on us. Orders? Aw, oh, shit, um. Aw, oh, shit, dude. Aw, oh, shit, aw, oh, shit. Aw, oh, jeez, aw, oh, fuck, man, aw. Oh. 
<laughs> I can't believe I've done this. Oh, what a day I am having. Wait, can I auto run? I can. Oh my god, nice. That rules, actually. Um, I don't remember how it was in Xenoblade Chronicles 2, but in Xenoblade Chronicles 1, if you get aggroed by an enemy when you're in auto run, uh, you just fucking stop in your tracks. I don't think auto run was in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. This is new. Ah, oh, fucking shit, dude. What's the other one they say? Uh, I snuffed up, man. <laughs> must have been there for quite some time. It was probably abandoned after being put out of commission decades ago. Oh shit! Thank you, plot, for saving me. Crust tips. I thought that was another curse for a second. Yeah, it's just crab. I'm digging this track. One, two, three. Yeah, quite a number, too. Reckon they've staked the Pharaonis as their turf? We'll have to get rid of them before we can search for salvageable materials. Sounds like a plan. Oh, yeah, this was a thing. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, come at me, bro. Puffy and I watched the first Bionicle movie. Oh my god, that's right! There was a Bionicle movie! I never saw it, but I remember Lance wants something a bit meatier. Like trailers maybe? Or seeing clips of it around the time it came out? I'll lure them in. They're gonna need a lot of butter for all those crabs. I know, right? We have a cook with us. We can get um Manana. Manane? Manana? We can get her to make some tasty crab. Lance wants something a bit meatier. Oh shit, whoops, that was the wrong button. I'll you! Come here. I got something oh, for you. it's like a unique enemy. Whoop, that's fine, we're fine. There's six of us, what is he gonna do? I forgot. Why oh, I love the soundtrack for it. It's essentially Lord of the Rings and it was badass. Really? I don't think I've ever seen it. I just vaguely remember being aware that it was a thing. I never really cared much about Bionicle when it was popular, but um, the only interest I had in it was like, I wanted, I was obsessed with the idea of having uh, connects. Was that what they were called? You know, because they always had those huge displays in Toys R Us where they had like a, like a Ferris wheel or something, like a gigantic Ferris wheel made of them. And I was like, I want those. And my mom was like, you have a bucket of Legos. You literally don't need them. And I'm like, but I want them. I got for and Bionicle was like the thing I associated with those. Even though they're not the same thing. And we were just getting started. Oh, okay, there's one more. Hang on. Bro, the Bionicle lore was just as fucking deep as Tolkien lore. Oh my god, really? I didn't realize that there was deep lore for Bionicle. So now what? Mm. Let's check out the <laughs> container. Okay, give me the treasure. 
It won't budge. It's because Ferranus is low on power. If we bring it online, containers might open. But literally none of the other containers I came across were like that. In Ferranus of this type, power compartment usually located over there. Okay, let's take a look then. Okay, but like, what exactly is a Ferranus? I mean, I'm getting that that's what I'm looking at, but like... Is it the same thing as the big lad that was in our colony? I'm guessing? It must be. It's just all busted up. Help me out here. On it. Here we go. He probably said that, and I just didn't fucking pay attention as usual. Oh shit, it's Daniel. Did somebody say big man? I mean... Yeah. What up, bruh? We're talking about Bionicle lore. Apparently it's deep. Big man is incredible. Like on face value, cool robot toys, lore-wise, a tale of maintaining peace through heroism, reincarnation, and hope. Whoa. Wait, Kemi, you've seen Big Man, have you not? I mean, I've seen several Big Man, and now I'm becoming aware that Big Man is specifically something. So I'm gonna say no, I guess. Unless I was made aware of it and forgot, but like, I'm gonna say no. Oh, Splatoon 3, Big Man. No, I only got to browse the Splatoon 3 um, direct. I don't recall a Big Man. So you're gonna have to send me some shit. I'm so excited about Splatoon 3, you guys. Yeah, send me that shit. Send me that shit right now. How does this shit look, Riku? Meh meh. Power level is at precisely zero, so Riku cannot say one way or the other. Guess without a flame clock, it really was kind of a long shot. Bet we could force open the containers. They don't look so tough. If you're confident you can do that without breaking the contents, be my guest. No promises. Stop! No need for gratuitous violence. Can solve problem with ether cylinder. Riku surely have one somewhere. What, you just had that thing on you? Uh... Meh. Do my eyes deceive me, or is that flat out empty? Back at the colony, we'd always complain about how we were short on this or that. But even a fraction of the supplies, there would be more than we have now. Now that we're away, I'm sure we'll miss home ever more keenly. Hey, correct me if I'm wrong, but I missed whatever that was. Anyways, look over there. Look at that thing. Isn't that an ether channel? It doesn't look too far. I'll go take a look. See if I can harvest some for us. I'll go with you! There's safety in numbers. Maybe it would be better if we all try to stick together. Check the image I sent you. Fuck. Hang on. I second that assessment. Okay then. Let's go right now. But not right now, right now. I gotta check out Big Man. Hang on. Oh fuck! I haven't I didn't see the new uh duo either. They're so cute. Wow. Oh shit, big man in the house, though. You should- for If anybody hasn't seen it, you should drop that image in the chat. Holy shit, big man. But yeah, I'd, I somehow missed the duo, too. Mio said we should be gathering supplies or something. Yeah, I didn't- I'm a little trigger happy. I did not mean to just fucking dive through that. So, wait, okay, I thought ether, I mean, this is more typically what I think of when I think of ether, so, like, this tracks, but I thought maybe for this game, based on what happened so far, that the, 
the red floaty thingies when people die um, was also ether, and that's just what- it's red now, I guess, but like, apparently not. I guess that's something else. <laughs> now I'm mega suspicious. What's that? Cause like, look. Wait, what the fuck? Where are you going? You're a lifesaver. Okay. Bye. How do I? Bye. <laughs> they just aggroed and then <laughs> they're coming back. <laughs> what are you doing, mate? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Sorry, it just <laughs> it just killed me. They turned around and they were just like, "I'm coming." Oh my god. <laughs> They're like, oh fuck, wait, no, we're going the wrong way, oh shit. They must have been targeting somebody who hadn't come, like, fallen down yet. It's fucking ridiculous. Wow, he totally just read me like a book. What an asshole. I went in for that backslash and he was just like, what if I turn around right now? I was like, when? I should be getting... I know chain attacks are a thing, but I guess I still haven't gotten to that point yet, but I feel like I'm past the tutorial stage. Mm. Anyways, we won. Let me check. Fuck, now I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? This is an ether channel, no doubt about it. Oh, about them dying and stuff. It's, it's all mad suspicious. Um... I know I'm not supposed to know anything yet, but like the fact that when we die, those like red like motes or whatever that come off of the bodies like feed the eat the flame clocks of the other person or whatever. It's just like mad suspicious. Anyways, moving forward, there will doubtless be times when ether will prove indispensable. Let's gather it when we have a chance. Let's get back to the Pharaonis and use the ether cylinder to try and reboot the motor assembly. Yeah, that w those were words. Uh... Rebooted Pharaonis can manufacture items with its fabricator. Oh, sick. So it's got like a shop or something. And can even be used as a rest spot. Nice! Shit, fuck. That's the one I wanted. Nope, get hecked, Kemi. You have to walk back. Fine. What if I went this way? Huh? What's that? <sighs> nope. <sighs> fuck. I was like, let me just climb. I guess I'll go around. But I don't like it. No, I can probably make this. My man can't jump. Come on. No, oh, fuck it. I just don't feel like fighting that, um, frog or whatever. Fabricator, stop all the fabricating. Yeah, it's like, you can't jump worth a damn. Nothing new under the sun. If we get the Ferronis running, that's not going to switch on the defenses, is it? Uh, sure hope not. We confirmed that they were damaged beyond repair. We'll be fine. 
Yeah, you better be right. Let's use this. That would suck so hard if we just Let's fucking turn this thing back on and it annihilated us. Okay. Do it. We did it. Also, I just realized there's a dead guy laying over there. Hmm, I should maybe do something about that. It moved! Now we should be able to claim the contents of those containers. We may be able to claim more than we first anticipated. How'd you reckon? That's how. That looks like an ether furnace, kinda. By restoring power to the Veronis, it would seem that we've brought the microfab back to life as well. So yes, I'd recommend checking the fabricator while we're on our little salvaging stint. Hey, do we want to rest? Nah, just drop. Ugh. That smarts. Here's hoping for something special. Let's have a look in the next container. Yeah, gimme. Here's hoping for something special. Oh yeah, and the dead guy. Uh, hang on. Good thing we found this. Uh, and you know what? Is it a good thing for us to do the sending or whatever? What if this is bad? It gives off major, like, uh, I mean, like, that's a little bit of a theme, right? Of just, like, using stuff for good, just obliviously, and then, like, in the near the end of the game, just being like, so you had to do this out of necessity, but it turns out that it was evil all along, and you're like, fuck, goddammit. It's a microfab, a hand-operable -oper fabricator commonly installed in the older Pharaonises. For a price, we can make things... We can make the things this Pharaonis used to produce. Nifty little gadget, eh? Let's take this thing for a spin, then. Yeah, so put money in and get stuff. Wait. I thought it was gonna be like a store, is it not? Oh, okay, well that's cool too, I guess, but like that's not what I, <laughs> that's not what I wanted. We found plenty of useful stuff here. There was more left behind than I dared hope. Couldn't detect any monster presence around the Ferranus perimi perimeter. Words are fun. Seems like we'll be safe then. Shall we rest here for the day? Ooh! I've still got energy left in the tank. I can take first watch. Senna, acting alone really isn't. Okay, bye! Oh! Meh? Uh, whoa! What the? Oh, cute! Look at your cute little outfit! Shill, shill. Meh, 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 meh. Shill, shill not, is not nopon of dubious origin. Your colony affiliation and objective. Tell me quick. Shill, shill is traveling, trader pond to any pawn or man. See, okay. The Nopon are different then. What's the deal with that? Also, why does she have like normal Nopon eyes and Riku has anime eyes? What is going on? 
saw light shining here, so took it upon self to investigate so-called haps. A Nupon vagrant, then. Man, is there anywhere you guys aren't? Why have to call vagrant? That word show real lack of respect. You're not with Agnes or Keviz, right? How about... Inten... Intinerant? Is that how you say that word? That's not in my vocabulary. Meh, suppose that's slightly better. Anyhow, any friend that she'll show meet soon turn into customer and vice versa. So what kinds of things do you sell? Yo, I got a shop after all. Look at the little naked nope on. I forgot that that was a thing. Uh, in Xeno lore is that like most nopan just prefer to be naked. Clothing is like a more recent thing to nopan. What does little hair do? Search headgear, bonnet choker, all that jazz. She'll she'll deal in anything. That she'll she'll meet friends here is also fate. She'll she'll give good price, so please to buy lots. I'm a little worried about our finances. And you're right, especially since we won't be paid bounties from our colonies anymore. In that case, please to sell any and all things of monetary value to Shil Shil. Oh, sweet. I love that that just did that for me automatically. Cool. Man, I've been a Shil Shil the last two months. No clothes, only selling goods and wares. It's my kind of life. I'll buy it for a good price. Pleasure doing business. What? You're not gonna buy our tasty sausages? She'll she'll only buy goods which can sell at a high price. <laughs> Basic business sense. Wow. Suddenly I feel like we got ripped off. It's alright. I think both parties benefited here. I think we might want to make a habit of trading with Nopon like this to earn money. Meh! <laughs> Friends feel like becoming regular customers? Heart of Shilshul Soar will be more than happy to buy from friends whenever and wherever. What do you mean, wherever? When friends find items, Shilshul can confirm using Terminal and wire money right back. She'll, she'll think friends not complaining, yes, yes. That sounds good to me. Hmm. Dealing with the independent Nopon has the benefit of being untraceable by our former colonies. So what's the deal with Nopon? So are they like the uh, Ferengi from Star Trek? I don't know. I have so many questions about the origin and lore of Nopan. To me, they give off these this feeling of like just like cute little creatures but they're also like elder gods that have lived since the beginning of time. I mean, not officially, but that's just what it feels like, you know? <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't trust Nopan with any wire transfers. <laughs> yeah, you know Shilshil hasn't paid taxes like ever. Anyways, it sure makes transactions easy. Then it decided. From today on, she'll she'll count friends among own patrons. She'll she'll's hair is very cute, though. I gotta say. She'll she'll will abide here for some time. If friends need anything, please to holler. We will, thanks. Well, that's one difficulty taken care of. Yeah. All right. That's time we finally got some rest. All that shit is still sitting there. What? I thought... Oh, sick. Alright, that's awesome. Oh yeah, I was wondering, because I got a bunch of these in the um, expansion pass thing. Um, okay. So I can just use them to buy various things. 
Anyways. We could do with some food. Yeah, Nupons are citizens of the world. Yeah, I definitely want to level up. Hell yeah. I definitely feel stronger. I love that. I love that there's just like an just do everybody level up everybody button. What does this do? I mean, sure. Huh. There we go. Like Shilshil's libertarian free market capitalist. <laughs> yeah, basically. She'll shall not pay taxes. It's she'll shall's money. Government keep hands off. Um, so do I get a benefit or something for the cleaning clothes thing? Or is this like a deadly premonition type thing where you some you just aesthetically want to like shave or whatever? Y'all remember that? You can just change your clothes and send it to the cleaners well that's not true because if you didn't do it for the rest of the game you would start to have like flies around you and you'd be all stinky but it wouldn't like you wouldn't suffer any consequences or anything you could still just play the game um hang on i will save i've got a little bit of time that i can keep going it's good to keep a record uh and also Let's do the double save. It's good to keep a record. Cause like right now it does feel like I can I can kind of travel freely. <sighs> a bit. I don't want to fuck that up. I already fucked it up because I can't go back to my colony or whatever, and there was stuff I was gonna do there, but I saved over my safety save, so I guess fuck me. No, no, no! More to the right! Guess I'll go back there at the end right of the there. game. Start lowering! Make sure it's airtight! Stand around here, finer than Ruska flower. I could do a triple weld. Sure. Long as the output's stable. Yes, sir. What's up with the K-Rounds? We're two caches short. Hope you didn't snuff up the order. I don't know, okay? Got a problem, take it up with logistics. We're just a dirt rank colony. Low as they come. You think the castle gives a crap? A queen's oath, this pisses me off. <laughs> we get better scores than any sparking colony out there. Did you know? They really are For like Adventure Time rations, with these creative curses. I hear they get Arden meat. Really? And us mudders? Trust me, you really don't want to know. <sighs> I miss the good old silver days. Didn't have to rely on rations back then. <gasps> we had cooks come and serve us right on the front line. Guys. Used to get Armu sirloin, we did. Seriously? Uh, hey! What now? My own indiscretion. Oh That's my good. god! I'm sorry. No, uh, we would never. Our apologies, uh, Commander Ethel. Dude. That was all uh, just banter. Believe me, we had no intention of. You enjoyed eating our mistake, did you? Oh my god, uh, she's so pretty, guys. Help. I did. <laughs> the glow up. The tastiest food I ever ate. I liked it as well. And I hope we will have it again. So lend me your strength. Mom. Yes, Mom. No, this isn't fair. This is like my favorite kind of character. This is like what Final Fantasy always does to me. I always fall for characters like this. Like the, the Beatrix oh, type character. Oh, person. she's so hot. <laughs> That's because you have poor taste. I'm jealous. Oh, well. Trade you my taste buds? No, thank you. My mouth had turned as foul as yours. <laughs> True that. Uh, 
They cleared out real fast. I hear the attending consul is a particularly punctual sort of character. Please not another stickler for the rules. I'm so distracted. Now. Yep. Got about five minutes to go. Whoa! Well, well, Consul dear. Your reputation certainly precedes you. Like, damn, guys. He had to do this to me live on stream on Twitch.tv. I'm a mess. Ah! Sparks sake, a hover type? I mean, did they not get the memo about the terrain here? Oh, yikes. Ow. Maybe if you had on a full helmet, it wouldn't be a problem. Oh? <laughs> oh, why is it so insufferably dusty around here? Clearly, the place befits its dirt rank status. Bro, you're in full armor. The rainy season will soon be upon us. I ask your patience for just this short while. Is that so? Then, leaving aside the issue of cleanliness, just what is with all this fog? I don't take kindly to my vision being obfuscated. Hmm. Oh, forget it. So, where <laughs> are my quarters? It's an American! Yes, this way. Yo, son, what's up? I, I didn't even notice, actually. I did notice in our party, um, Senna... Uh, has an American accent, which is interesting. Ugh. What a filthy room. How the dirt rank has fallen. Ugh. I suppose that would be something to take up with the castle. Arthuronis is an old model. I understand your displeasure. But please don't escalate this. Do I detect some defiance? Uh... No, no, that, that was never my... Relax, girl, I jest. Now then, let's cut the chit-chat and talk business. I'd like you to eradicate some vermin for me. Oh no, I don't want to fight her, she's hot! By your leave, sir, we've detected no movement from Agni and Pharonesis around this area. Though, I mean, I, I don't mind all that much, actually. Not Agnes. People. Soldiers. A band of deserters from both sides. Well, something like that. Her sign thingy is on her titty? Yeah. Agnes and Kethis. Both. Well, I'm pretending like I didn't notice, but I, I definitely think it's did. You see for yourself. Hmm. This is expressly at the Queen's behest. Don't foul this up. Oh. Girl, are you Melia or aren't you? Because this is all fucked up what you're doing right now. And like, Melia would never. So what gives? Though, I guess they all look similar to previous characters, but they are different. Like, I don't think Van Damme was Van Damme. Per se. Oh, nothing in particular, really. It's just kind of a habit. Checking our status, the war, watching for info updates. Silly. <laughs> I don't know why I still bother to check it anymore. Not like there'd be updates. Oh. Wouldn't you be locked out anyway? What is it? An icon just popped up over your head. It'd be huh? stupid if they still had access to all that information. Oh, yeah. On the colony's part. Now I can see an icon for you as well. When did we unlock a feature like this? I've never noticed it before. What? Yours seems to be the only one not locked. Huh? 
What? What? Oh, ho, ho. He's lit up like a sparking light bulb. I guess there must still be more to this feature. Oh! It's Mimi's. What in the? Oh my! Is... Oh! We get to change classes. But all the techniques I can use with it are flashing before my eyes. That's my favorite. I love it when you can just, like, experiment with changing classes. That's my shit. I love job systems. It's so weird. Not like we suddenly just gain the knowledge out of the blue, but as if it were always ingrained deep within us. Strange. Oh, doesn't look like I can get Mimi's gear. Now that's a shame. Hmm. This it? <gasps> How come I got Moody Guts and not Noah's, huh? That's what I'd like to know. Your class is the only one I can seem to pick, unfortunately. Yeah, because they're like paired or whatever. But I'm thinking that oh. it'll get... More things will get unlocked. This thing about without a power frame. Not bad. Aw. Don't know how this is even working, but cool. But is this all part of Ouroboros too? Oh, I'm stoked. I'm so it stoked. Gives us more options in battle. I'm all for it. Yeah, I want to take this new blade out for a spin. From here, we head due south, right? She looks really cute yeah. in our jacket too. I test them out on the road. No, change back. I'm gonna change her back. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Let's go. Wait, hang on, hang on. I should read this. Uh, changing class. I will play around with it as much as I can. You better believe it. Fuck. Okay, well. Uh. Okay. Uh, okay. Whoa, cool. So... Oh, cool! It's like, um... Um, 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 fuck. Am I thinking of Bravely Default, where it has the job system, but you can, like... It's not necessarily dual class classing, but it's like when you master one of the jobs, then you can use some of those skills no even when you're not on that class. You know what I mean? That would be awesome if that's the case. Which I think is what it's trying to tell me. Oh, okay. It's gonna make me do it anyway, whatever. I guess we're really gonna learn how to do it now. We have no choice. It's like, yeah, I wouldn't fully absorb all of that information, but I would have figured it out eventually. Um, okay. Yeah, see, they're all here. They're just locked. It'll get unlocked later, I'm sure. I'll protect you. Okay. I'm fine with attacking. Can I get a anime? What's up, Quattro? What, are we gonna do everybody? Come on. I'll heal you right up. Okay, we're gonna do everybody, I guess. Well, I, to monitor the battle. Do you get it? Do you get how to change classes? I'm like unnecessarily aggravated at how the tutorials are running, I know. This is like, every time it makes me do something, I bitch at it. You're sick, oh no! I'll take real good care of the bad Is it the big C-19 or just got a cold. Either way, I hope you feel better soon. Yeah, I like that they get, like, each other's outfits. That's cute. Okay. So, we got different arts. Left of the regular art slots are master art sub-slots. 
just I'm guessing is the things that carry over for like when you're not it's dual class without dual class. Got it. Ground beat. Okay. What? Come on. Mm, it's just gonna make me do everybody. Fuck. All right. Why slash? I got it. Let's see how fast I can speed run this. Myopic screen. Dark battle. Got it. Crush out. Oh, it really won't let me pick any of them except for the one that it wants. Giant swing! Okay. Just a cold. Got it for my dad because he was sick too. I hope it passes quickly. Uh, okay. Skills. Oh, this is neat too. It's like the same idea, but instead of with arts, it's like just certain perks and boosts that you get from certain classes that you can carry over to other ones. Right? Yeah, because it says sword, sword fighter. And I guess as I level up, I'll unlock more of them. Okay, got it. I got it now. You only needed to make me do two. I got it. Though, to be fair, if it didn't make me do all of this, I wouldn't have done it until, like, after the stream was over. So, I guess so we don't... Do we... I haven't noticed any equipment aside from accessories. Okay, won't well, let me. Fuck it. Never... I guess fuck me for being curious. Um... You will not be able to change classes or edit Master Arts for a time. Um, okay. Whatever, I don't care. This is fine. I should try it out. Um Yeah, hang on. Yeah, interesting that there's no you don't get any weapons or armor, just accessories. Which I guess isn't super needed if we're just going to be like changing classes a lot because the classes have their own specific weapons and it would be annoying to have to keep track of like buying a whole bunch of different especially if I wanted two people to be the same class I would have to make sure that I had two those same weapon types so like this is okay I don't mind this Whee. whoa I'm not Pardon me, bro. I'll get them occupied. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, shit. Wait, there's some stronger guys over there. No, thank you. No. Bye bye. Huh. Oh, okay. So where am I going? I saw like 20 somethings over there, so that's definitely not the way it wants me to go. Hey, this is still new to us. Don't rush in. They're on us. Orders? Okay. Agnes Arts and Kevis Arts. Perhaps it's real than you strike. Right. Oh, cool. So the way that I charge up my arts isn't necessarily exclusive to what side we came from, it's tied to the, um, class. Wait, it- fuck, it was telling me something. Fusion Arts. I just talked so much shit at the tutorial and then I fucking passed it. I'll figure it out later, though, is the point. That and it makes me do it anyway, so whatever. Jeez. Not letting me. 
you're a lifesaver. I'm like hitting, I'm like trying to hold ZR and it's just like, nah. Yeah, that flute is going nuts. Okay, I had to let them both. Got it. Yeah, this battle theme goes so hard. Well, see, it's fine. Now I get it. Like the way you usually fight. It looked like second nature to you. It was crazy. You should have seen yourself. <laughs> I think I could have thrashed you with a little more practice. You what, mate? You want to go? You know, it's totally bananas. Ouroboros is bonkers powerful. Right? Ah! The gauge for the locked icon has filled right up. Same here. Yeah, that's... That's kind of what I thought would be the so case. Logically, if we gain enough experience by fighting together, we will become able to use each other's classes. That seems to be it. As much as I'd like to experiment. Yeah, I guess we shouldn't stay in one place for too long. Right. Well, better get ourselves down south. What's with this half glove business? I mean... Oh, sweet. You can also use the Nupon coins for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll definitely... do this off-stream. Okay, hang on. No, no, no. I'll go over this later. It's fine. Uh, wow, it's kind of late for it to be explaining, like, the area of effect type stuff, right? It's been doing that. <laughs> but okay. This Ouroboros power. We need to learn how to use it most effectively. Oh, okay. I guess we're in the desert now? Hold it a moment. I have a proposal as to our next route. Okay, shoot. I'll send you the map data. Broadly Everybody speaking, but Riku, get fucked. Or west. I would suggest we go west. Why is that? The area to the west is under Agnes's control. There is a certain degree of risk, as they'll have deployed a number of units, but it's the quickest way to get south. What about the east route? No man's land. None of the colonies have laid claim to it as of yet. However, we'd suffer a significant time loss. Time versus risk. Wait a sec. We're going to stir up the Skeeter Nest. I only said there was a degree of risk. Really, it's not so bad. But Agnian troops are deployed there, yeah? Well... Yes. And we're still going to go? All I said is if we that assume it would be more efficient. They, their lives do run out at 10 years, well, then Mio is about to die, so... To be more efficient. Faster is better. We don't want to be dragging our heels forever. Right? She's on the time limit. We gotta go. I just have to ask. Are you trying to push some agenda? What? No. Certainly not. 
But you admit the east route is the safer option. That's just strange. Why wouldn't you pick the safe way? Because time is of the... Look, there you go again. That's not all, though. It's all wasteland to the east. The... the heat. It'll be unbearable. Uh, yeah, you're gonna melt in the sun. I'm fine with your choice. But we need to think about everyone's safety. Noah, what's your take? You would think she would want to take the um, quickest route. She doesn't have much time left. And we're like, we're on foot. I think I'd rather take the safe route. Okay. As for the heat, we can probably figure something out. There. Weird choice, but okay. Tyon. Senna. Please. <sighs> Fine then. If you absolutely insist. Then it's settled. Come on, cheer up, guys. We're out of here. Though I'm still not entirely convinced that they do die. Uh, just straight up drop dead when their clock runs out. I think, like, the queen has something to do with that. But, I mean, we haven't seen any example other than the ceremony thing, so who knows? Uh, go a little bit further. As long as we gun it. Topographical info updated. I'm assuming. <laughs> I'm just sitting here assuming that it's a straight shot. Uh, Enemy there are enemies everywhere. Maybe this wasn't the soundest strategy. Good job, Kemi, you did it. Oh, fuck. Where am I going? This way. Fuck. Guys, get ready to fight! Maybe that way. I may have made a mistake. Those guys are fucking going at it. I hope this is the right way. <laughs> yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Well, that's a lot of dead people. Whoa, visitor. Pardon? Mm. Okay, well, I think. Yeah, I'll come back for that. Oh, hello. Is it shill shill? Oh, I'm starting to sweat already. Pane, pane. We only just got here. Fuck, what happened? Are you okay? Mm. What's the matter? Water. Pane, pane, need moisture. Moisture? Shall we bring you some? Bitch, where I'll see no water anywhere? Anything is fine, so long as filled with wetness. Pane Pane dying of dry throat. Okay, well, I don't know what this is all about, but let's get the pond something to wet his whistle. Why would you say it like that, Lance? Okay, later, though. Where?
Oh. Let's go someplace else. Up there. Probably this way. We've been spotted. Hopefully. Hopefully this way. So honestly, fuck. I don't know how long it. And there's another dead guy up there. It's like I don't really know. I left behind that campsite, and I'm like, maybe I shouldn't have been so quick to just leave that campsite. Ooh. Is this hey, this one all of the great hand? I'm sorry, I'm just like, what the fuck am I actually looking at right here? Like what what was this? It's like, we're not on the Bionicle anymore. We're not on the Bionis. Though, I guess I don't know. I was like, is this just regular-ass land or what? Because that... is weird. This is our first time here, isn't it? Unless maybe there's like a colony back there. Together now, Mimi. I'll drag you along myself if I have to. I love that she calls her Mimi. That's adorable. I, mean, I get that it's hot, but really? Whether we're talking food or weather, Mio does not take to heat. I knew this would happen. Bro, how are you wearing a hoodie in this weather? Heat's never bothered you, has it, Lance? Nope. I'm made of sterner stuff. Honestly. I'm starting to feel a little worn out. A spot to rest would be nice about now. Hey, look! There! Mimi, look! It's water! There's an oasis! Oh, no! No, it's a trap! It's a mirage! Yeah, water! No, girl, don't do it! Water! Come on, let's go! Oh, her ears are so yeah. cute. But also, this is mega fake. Have you seen any cartoon ever? <laughs> oh, come on. Talk about overreacting. We should be thankful they're back in high spirits. Let's just hope it's not a mirage. That's what I said. Just gonna jump in and just get like a mouthful of sand. Mia, you all right? Just got a glimpse of hope. Guess I can hold on a while longer. Excuse me, pardon me. We've been spotted. Oh, yeah. ah, hang on, hold that thought. Oh, it's a campfire. Okay, well. More enemies. What do we do? Okay, is it really water though? I was like, I guess it is water, but like. Okay. I was like, the game is about to say psych any minute. <laughs> nice and cool. Thank the clock. <laughs> Aww. Dude, don't jump in with that big fucking coat right, on. Then. Yeah. My turn. You too. Don't happen every day. Bro, the gloves. You're gonna ruin it. Rip. Just fucking killed the nope on. Never do that again. 
Come on. You're already soaking wet anyway. What difference does it make? The difference is you're an asshole. What snuffing difference? Oh, I've got war in my ears now. I really like her voice actress. Staying here, are you? I've got something to take care of. You what? I'll send it to you now. I was like, better not betray us. I'll be so pissed off at A you. Map. From the survey branch. Annihilation events occur frequently here. Annihilation events? You mean... Look. Oh, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty funky. It happens here too. Given our route, we should take the safest way possible. Very cautious of you. It's my duty to be. Thank you. Uh... Sure. Cute. I love all these babies. I will protect them with my life. Ugh, that felt great. Oh yeah, how are you feeling, Mio? Great, since I cooled off in the lake. Glad to hear it. I worked up a chonkin' appetite with all that moving about. Chonky. I'm sure we still have some rations left. Grab some after you've rested. This is turning into quite the leisurely pleasure cruise, isn't it? Hey man, I seem to remember you agreeing to have a rest at the Oasis too. Sure. I adjudged it necessary to take a short break and check the route. Tyon, come on, take a dip. Cool off that overheated cranium of yours. I don't think so. Even in a highly open desert locale with good sight lines like this, we must maintain a lookout at all times. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hey, thanks. I can go on because of you. In fact, you've helped me out a lot, a lot of times since we joined forces, Tyon. Yeah, dude. If it wasn't for you, I don't know if I'd still be here in one piece. <laughs> Did he really just do, like, the Mugame, like, head tilt thing while he grabs his glasses? My god. He needs to push them up with his middle finger. That's what I'm here for. To determine the best course of action, tactically and strategically. Hey, Tyon. Do you think you could tell us the way out of this desert, then? Naturally. We bear further south, into the Ruby Flats. Sounds like another massive hike on foot. If we've got so much walking through the wilds ahead of us, why don't we make camp here for the day? Could probably do with topping up the water supplies, too, I reckon. Not a terrible line of reasoning. However... Tyon, we've been hiking through the wasteland for a while. For like five minutes. You need to rest, the same as the rest of us. Didn't you admit as much just now? And what's more, I'm starving too. <laughs> Atta girl! Manana's tummy hears someone talking about food! Oh, Riku, Manana. Where did you get to? Went on little search for tasty treats. Since we now at Lush Oasis, morsels even tastier than pack rations can be had. Tickle of taste buds make chuckle in heart and soul. Good for morale, good for mood. So Manana will keep eyes to ground in search of ever tastier treats. Are we about to unlock some cooking crafting? Cuz yes, please. Correct Muchly, I hope. 
Manana's a total diva when it comes to cuisine. I can confirm. But... Planned cuisine take two hours to make. Whoa, that's way too long. Who has time for that? In meanwhile, please endure hunger with patience like well-behaved soldiers. <laughs> what the spark? Two hours. Nothing's worth that kind of wait. Come on. All you need to do is chuck a few ingredients in the pot. Is there really that much to it? <sighs> Such unkind and untrue words. Friends think food is nothing more than fuel for furless meat snacks? Such rotten attitude. Meats. Meat sacks. You could probably also use snacks too in certain contexts, sure. Manana can offer incredible tasty cuisine. Not simply chuck stuff in pot and deliver unceremoniously into mouth hole. Manana, would you like us to help you out with the cooking? And then maybe it would get to our mouth holes a bit faster. Please stop saying mouth hole. Please. Meh meh. Acceptable. But if friends want to help Manana in cooking duties, certain boundary must be set. Tasting is 100% purview of Manana. Okay. We're gonna cook a thing. Fuck yeah. Eating Manana's meals at a rest spot will temporarily increase the EXP and rewards you receive from winning battles. Some rest spots are canteens. Oh, nice. Where you can order food. Doing so will help Manana come up with new recipes. Oh my god, it's Final Fantasy XV? I've come up with a new recipe. I suggest we take a break. Banana's battle soup, eh? Sounds yum. Do it, do it, do it. It's totally Final Fantasy 15. Meals you can make are listed here. Got it. Hello? Oh, I have to hold it. <laughs> I think that's like the second or third time I've done that. Oh, it's cute. With the little stars. Nice. I'm gonna use the hell out of that. <sighs> I'm stuffed. It's been a while since I pigged out like that. Thanks for the feast. You really outdid yourself, Manana. I'm floored that you can create such stellar meals here in the wilderness. Manana blush. She even went out on the battlefield with us, cooking for the soldiers. She carried that into battle. Damn. Agnes' soldiers ate way better than we did. I think she wanted to do all she could for the troops' morale, especially on the front, where it's so easy to feel doubt or anxiety. Imagine that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I love that there's just like no <laughs> dialogue there. Wow. But Minata also enjoyed travel with Mio and friends. Could not have discovered such amazeful ingredients otherwise. With new dishes and ingredients, repertoire of Minana go through the roof. By the by, what do Riku on Team of Noah and Friends do? Riku provides support across board. In other words, do everything. Biggest talent lie in maintain of power frame, also gem craft. Oh shit, gem craft. You're pretty spectacular in your own right. Now that we can no longer rely on our colonies for supplies and improvements, he should indeed be an indispensable asset. Friends want to see Master Trick of Riku? Yeah, totally! Show us! Are we about to do some gem crafting? At this very moment... Riku cannot. 
What? Mate, you can't just pull the rug out from under our feet like that. Riku just not able to do on sudden command. To make gems, require gathering of suitable material first. I thought he was going to be like, Riku shy. Cannot do it when everyone watching. Hey, Riku. Yes? Up until now, we've just relied on you for all of our repairs and maintenance. But thinking about the road ahead... I wonder if it wouldn't be better if we learned to tweak our blades ourselves. Yeah, that. Hmm. It's not thing that can learn just by snapping fingers. If it's possible, though, I'd like to learn too. And me as well. Meh, fine. Riku Cave. We'll show way of gem crafting to friends. A special exception. First, have to collect materials, like said. Riku noticed Aspar during earlier jaunt through Rikoth Wellspring. We'll need glaring eyeball from that. That's the snakes, right? Riku teach shop class. For fee. I was trying to remember what the fuck uh, the name of that service was that everybody always does paid sponsorships for. Oh, Skillshare! <laughs> Riku teach shop class for Gemcraft on Skillshare. Uh, okay. Yo, devils! What's up? I've been feeling really pumped for the past while. Must be thanks to Manana's cooking. I always knew it was something special. Um... Mm. Don't know about that guy. I swear, I saw... Yeah, there are snakes right over there. Fucking... Okay, well... We'll fucking... Go this way. How's Eno 3? It's really good. I'm super excited. I discovered that there is a job system. I fucking love job systems. Wait, hang on a second. Let me... Can I run far enough this way to where they can't get me anymore. <laughs> he can't swim, dumbass. <laughs> Riku saw the Aspar around here, right? I guess this guy is just sitting here for this exact quest. Yeah, that is a freaking dinosaur, correct? Oh, I didn't I've never played X. I didn't realize they had a job system in X. It's rad though. I'm I'm so weak for job systems. I love them. It looks a little tough. Hey, hey, nothing like a post meal workout. Got your number, mate. Let's go. I forgot Aspars kind of have they're snakes, but they have like bird beaks. It's very weird. Also, this music is everything. Yeah, they've always looked like this, though. Yeah, that pianist is going fucking crazy. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Hello? I guess that's what I get for being underleveled. This thing's handing our asses to us. If we don't get a grip, we'll end up a pre-meal workout instead. What friend's doing? There's six of you. What is point of numbers if all fight separate and not together? Fight together? Alright then. I guard and then everyone else pile in while it's distracted. What? And run right into the sparker's jaws? Yeah, no. It's way better than taking turns... It's way better taking turns sniping it from a distance. Neither of those plants is effective against an Aspar. If you ask me... Mimi, do something! We'll never be able to fight together if everyone's got their own idea. Yeah, we have to pick a plan and stick with it. Fuck. 
Okay, well, I thought there was just one enemy, so I thought. Whoa. Oh, never mind. It just wanted to introduce chain attacks. I thought I was paying attention to her HP. So I guess that was scripted? Uh, performing combos, canceling arts. There's a gauge. Got it. And it still press start to trigger it. Got it. Go. That was scripted. Okay, okay. I was like, I know that I kind of zone out sometimes when I'm fighting, but I didn't think we were that at that much of a disadvantage. Like, we would have been okay, I thought. Okay. Uh, this is a little different. Okay. Um, upon starting a chain attack, you'll see three orders. You can compare the completion bonuses and then choose which order to go with. Select party members, attack using arts. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess the high numbers are the ones to go for. Like that? Select party members and hit with arts to collect tactical points. With characters awarding different values. Got that. Reach 100% to complete the order. Do you want to use the usual arts combo? Oh, like break, topple, days, and then I don't remember what the fourth one is in this. I don't remember who has break. I should probably have checked that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just going by the numbers. But you're right, I should have been looking for that. Um... You can maximize bonus CP by using characters with the same affiliation or role as the order. Oh, okay. Okay, interesting. Fulfill the criteria. Wow, that is so crusty looking zoomed in. You couldn't have made that a little bit um, cleaner. Okay. Um. Okay. Using an attacker to make the first strike will net you a large amount of TP. Attacking with the healer guarantees that the total TP doesn't exceed 99. Why would I do that? Oh. Complete an order with a defender to reactivate the character with the most TP. Okay. I We'll, I'll get the hang of it, I'm sure. Uh, shit. Okay, wait. Who has who has break? Couple. Okay, well, side break, but I don't think she's in the right position for it, so I don't think it'll work. No, it worked. Okay, we're good. We're top of that. Cool, we did it. Cool. I might have the answer. Wait, I thought it said that I had to complete it with a defender. Oh no, she is a defender. Okay, no, no, I got it. I thought I got confused because I changed her class. Uh, completing an order triggers a chain art, adding a powerful attack to the sequence, and then ending the chain attack round. Got that. Player to members can do another turn if you do well. You can choose another order and keep the chain going if the chain gauge isn't empty, and you still have members who can act. Okay, sick. Ooh. 
Okay, so it also said that I get a bonus if I... Well, it's already toppled, though. Shouldn't I use days? Fuck. Who has days? I don't remember. Nobody does. Cool, 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 cool. Well, then I'll just... I'll do this. Fuck. Um... Well, I want to use him last. Oh, never mind. I messed that up a little. That's fine. Still did crazy damage, though. Oh. What the heck? Okay. Maybe it doesn't matter who I ended on. Dude, whoa, she just got it all in one go. Damn. I'm sure eventually I'll just it'll click and I'll just have an oh moment with chain attacks. Um, like I get the basic gist of it. But like strategizing who to use and whatever will probably just take practice and then I'll I'll get it. Eventually. Whoa, that went way better than before. That's teamwork for you, huh? Riku rated three out of five stars. Wow, tough crowd. Also have the feeling no one friend still, for lack of better word, lacking. With practice, Riku think friends can pull off bigger and stronger special teamwork moves. That's what I just said, Riku. Jeez. Patronizing much, Fluffball? He's probably right, though. It's only been days since we started traveling together. We should learn each other's fighting styles little by little, and we're bound to see results. I fully agree. It's basically mixing chain attacks from all three previous games. I guess so? I'm sure there's a way to, like, make it even more broken, to, like, keep it going for a really long time. Um, and that'll come to me with time, I'm sure. Anyways, either way, we got Riku's whatchamacallit. Let's head for the Oasis. Oh ho ho! Time is nigh for Riku to impart teachings of gem crafting art. Give me the crafting. We've got to practice our chain attacks more often. Can I? <laughs> yeah. Guess now we've left the army, we've got to handle stuff like this ourselves. Yeah, it's still... I guess I haven't unlocked stuff. It's still teaching me stuff, even though we're past the introduction chapter. But there's just, I guess, a lot. I haven't even figured out... We did the fusing thingy, and I have not been able to do it since, so I'm guessing the game is like, not yet. We gotta teach you all this other shit first. Okay, since friends creaking with anticipation, Riku teach art of gem crafting. In point of fact, for to craft gems, in addition to materials that gather earliers, also need gemstone for base. Huh... There's more to it than I thought. But no cause for concernment. This time Riku have own reserve, so we use that. I love the menu jingle, but I can't stand the menu color. What, like the orangey thing that it's got going on? I don't mind it so much. I love the jam, though. Sharp thinking, Riku. Thanks. <laughs> Now, Riku set up apparatus. Oh, It's like a tiny ether furnace! It's so tiny and tiny and small! First step, set gemstone here. Let work is base substrate, into which materials introduced and then processed. 
When do so, can express various useful effects. Finally, equip and enjoy. Right, right. If friends grasp principle, all that left is to put into practice. Uh, sweet. Yeah, I'm all about crafting some gems. The fusion arts is simple. Okay, sweet. I just figured that like glad, eh? cool. I've been wanting one of those. The the game's just like, listen, we have a whole bunch of other stuff, like class systems and whatever to show to you first. So like forget about the whole fusion thing for a while until the plot needs you to bring it back. Is my guess. Cause like there's it still seems kinda limited on what I can do. Also, every time something's introduced, the game forces me to go through a step-by-step -step tutorial to make sure that I super know what I'm doing, so I'm sure when it comes back, it will walk me right the heck through it. A gem can only be crafted once you've gathered all the necessary materials. Got it? For now, I'm trying to crafting Ironclad 1. What? Okay, but can I do the other ones too? Gem's done. Come on, I want to use it quick. Now that you crafted a gem, exit the menu. But what if I want to do the other one? I want agility. <sighs> okay. I don't like you telling me what to do, game. <laughs> and that concludes process. Wow, that took yonks. What does that even mean? You just made that word up. Should not expect to go as fast or smooth as when doing the colony without proper equipment. Still, I think we got the gist. It might go quicker the second time around. Noah, please to apply product now. I'm on it. Once crafted, gems can be equipped by any number of party members. Yeah, 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 yeah. If your characters gain levels, they'll eventually be able to equip a total of three gems. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, I really love this jam. It's so good. I also really like the way the characters are in the menu, too. Because, like, it was... There was, it wasn't much to look at in Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and in Definitive Edition, it was so weird that they had, like, panels that should have been character art, maybe, but, like, they were just moving inside the panels, and it was very weird. This is nicer. Oh, okay. You only have one now, yeah. Level 20 is not that far off, honestly. We did it. We equipped a gem. There we go. Let's see just how strong it's gotten, yeah? It's already nighttime. Can't it wait till morning? <sighs> Oh, you're right. With the right materials, can create gems with all kinds of properties. Master art of gem crafting and even Gonzales become easy peasy by tiny little bunnet. Yo, where's the immovable Gonzales? Where's he at though? He's in every game. He's got to be in this one somewhere. When find new materials, Riku craft new gems together. Manana can also make all sorts of dishes if have big choice of ingredient. And also arrange dishes and courses. And menus accord to color and... Alright, put a sock in it. We get it. Well, I think that's probably enough for today. Let's bunk down. Guess I'll take first watch.
We might be able to conserve more energy if we leave before sunrise. I was gonna say, we're in a desert. Wouldn't it be prudent to sleep during the day and travel by night? Hot as usual. We'd better cover as much distance as we can before it gets even hotter. I estimate we're about halfway? Really? I mean, I know I just made a beeline for this, but like, I don't feel like, well, I did probably not, I didn't explore anything before I got here, so maybe there is more. Hang in there, Mimi. You can do it. Yeah, I guess. All right, let's roll out. Roger. We'll push on until the Ribby Flats. Actually, we won't. I just realized that I thought it was like 11.30 still. It's after midnight. Um... Hang on. Where is the plot? Oh, it's pretty close. But I did, like, pass a lot of stuff. Can I still fast travel? Alright. Well, okay, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Um... I'll do, like... We could do with some food. Yo, thanks, guys. I need to stop uh, going over time so that I can, like, I actually raid stronger. somebody and hang out for a while, but I keep... I'm, I don't... Time is not real. So, we'll save... I saved twice earlier. I'll just save in this first slot. I guess... It's good to keep a record. Just in case I can't, like, go back and explore this area that I was in before. Um, and if I can't, then I'll just, I'll open this and do the exploring and get back to here before I stream again next week. We'll see. I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out a way to do this. Where I don't get blocked out of stuff, because I like... I like just exploring and grinding levels with enemies and stuff between streams. So I don't want to run into the plot by accident or get locked out of somewhere. But yeah, um, that'll be the stream. I'm just going to have to let auto host take over. And uh, what's today? Thursday? I want to say that I'll come back sometime this weekend. It's my birthday this weekend, though, so like I'm not... I don't want to do anything, but I might need to go do family things. <laughs> but if not, I'll see you guys Saturday. Otherwise, I'll be back um, Thursday. Anyways, have a good night. I love you. Goodbye.